Hey, big welcome back to Yaks for the Gaming, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the Kyle Oliver RTTS last night. As we will now once more join the Roy Chance RTTS, as we just took a look at the disabled list, which is pretty full for the Pittsburgh Pirates right now. But you'll see here now, looking at the lineups, Roy Chance is batting top of the order in three of four situations. And now in the next game against Richmond, he is leading off as there is a starting pitcher batting. So you'll see. That is an interesting situation. As you'll all remember, Jason Yates in his second year with the Baltimore Orioles before we lost him was batting leadoff. Of course, he was not very successful. So this will be maybe a chance for Roy Chance to show that a Yak City RTTS player can be successful in the leadoff position. So we'll move right along into the game here as Chance will get his first at bat in the bottom of the first. And you'll see dynamic difficulties is back here on Yak City. I tried that zone hitting. It uh, it was either too easy or too hard at one time. Whereas dynamic difficulty, uh, you'll go in stretches and then you'll go in other stretches, and it's just a mess, which I like a little bit better. As you see here, Chance will fly it out to center field, deep center field, but it'll be caught by the center fielder, and that'll be a good at bat. Although it produced a note, now he'll get a chance with the bases loaded and two outs in the bottom of the second. A run already in, so it's a big at bat for Chance here. He has a chance to be a big time RBI guy. That's something he's kind of worked on. Being before this episode, he was all over the place, like batting one to nine given anywhere on any given night. So now the right fielder bobbles this ball. That'll allow two runs to score, and Chance slides safely into second with two RBIs. That is awesome. Uh, only a base hit he's credited with because of that error, but that's still all right. He'll take it no matter what. That's perfectly fine. And now Chance will have a chance to maybe score a run himself and get those extra training points and improve himself a little bit more. Chance recently hasn't been working on the fielding as much as he should be. He's... If he got a trade request offer, he might take it. Pittsburgh, it's a great place to be, great culture, everything's going well for him right now, but just not a place Chance can really succeed with what he wants to do. He wants to be that leadoff DH. If you, There's a few teams that go with that kind of style, and Chance could fit that bill. As he, can, he can play third base, but he's not the strongest fielder. He's got good speed, he's got all right contact, he can muscle a few out of the park each season. And that can always be improved, so most likely that's what he's hoping to be is shipped off to an AL team and eventually work his way up to be a DH in the MLB. And hey, if he's being a DH, he can work on that power too and maybe become a pretty big guy out there for whatever team he lands with. But of course, the Pittsburgh Pirates are still a given opportunity for Chance. So as you see here, he didn't score a run, but that's all right as he'll get another chance to maybe... Drive in a run in a close game here as it's 3-2 to two for Altoona and only one out. So if he could find the gap for a double, it would be great. And he's going to slice this right up the gut into center field, a fly ball right to the center fielder. That's another out recorded. That, you know what, that can't even be considered a fly out. That's a line out, and it went far. So Chance is on the ball. He just can't catch a break. I mean, he did in the second inning there where he flew that one to the right fielder and he bobbled it allowing two RBIs for him but he's just not getting that lucky batting less than 250 this year so I mean now now that I give you that stat it kind of seems crazy that I'm saying Chance should be a leadoff DH because you'd think high batting average and lots of RBIs if you're going to be a leadoff DH but that, that might not be the case for Chance that's why I, the Pirates are still a pretty good situation for him and he'll take off here just to show his wheels and that is uncontested safely steal of second and that's oh I I know that's chances at least fifth or sixth stolen base of the year so not too too bad at all and now chance with the chance to get in the home with nobody out bottom of the sixth 
only a two-run game for Altoona, so chance scoring here would be monstrous. Give him a 5-2 lead at minimum. And this one is going to be a strikeout. So there we go. Chance now on second, one out. A fresh count, still leading 4-2. to two. And it looks like he's leaning towards second. Does he want to take off? And he's going to go. And this is going to be a high throw, and Chance is going to be in there safely. Sorry, guys, I have a tickle in my nose, so it... it, it sorry. Uh, it feels very weird to be talking right now with that tickle in my nose, but uh, Chance with that steal a third, and now he, he's just 90 feet away, like, cannot get any more opportunity than this, steal two bases and get in there. And he's looking around, and now this one's going to be, looks like a ball. Two and one the count now with one out. Chance on third, as I just said. And that 4-2 score is monstrous if he can get it 5-2. And this is going to be belted. Where is this going? And that is going over the wall for a home run. There we go. Chance is in to score. It's actually a 6-2 game now. And now pop the seventh spoon up to the plate for Richmond. And Chance will get a chance. And he's going to get right to this ball on the infield and he'll fire on over to first for the out. That one was too simple for Chance. And now he'll get a chance to drive in maybe another RBI here. Two home runs and eight RBI on the season as of now. He could get that up to maybe 10 with a gap hit right here. But he'll take a first pitch strike on a check swing. And I do apologize guys. Something's going on in my throat and my nose right now. Uh, brutal, but should be gone before the end of the video, so hopefully I don't sound retarded for the entire time. And now Chance will swing away here, and it's going to be a slight roller, and the pitcher will be able to cover the bag, and Chance is out. He butchers a good opportunity for another RBI, and now George Bump will get a chance to bat for Richmond in the top of the eighth, so 6-2 score, so... Altoona still hanging on, and Bump will ground it. Oh, and Chance gets crossed up. That is just a good example of why he cannot field out there at third base. That is, you cannot afford to be doing that. That's getting crossed up, and that is risky. As now Chance has a chance to put this game to bed if the ball comes to him. And if he can't, I'm sure the Pirates will be taking a look at that. And that ball will go right over, and no, he'll be safe. Bump is safe at first. The ball doesn't come to Chance, and that'll end the game, though, as the pitcher got him to fly out right after. And Chance doesn't even get player of the game for his five at bat, two hit, two RBI performance. But of course, that home run was pretty big, so 108 training points. So, as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and watch the last episode. So long from Yak City.